Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures, with me, Sula. This episode is about watching the Perseid meteor shower. Every year I look forward to the Perseid meteor shower, one of the most spectacular meteor showers of the year. As the Earth makes its annual trip around the Sun, it passes through the orbit of comets and asteroids. Comets have elongated orbits in the Kuiper Belt or Oort Cloud, and as they approach the Sun in their orbit, the Sun heats up the comet, causing it to shed ice and debris. And when the Earth passes through that dust and debris, we have meteor showers. Every August, we have the famous Perseid meteor shower, active from about July 17th to August 17th, sometimes to September, but peaking August 11th through August 13th and producing about 50 meteors per hour. The Perseids produce a lot of swift, bright meteors with bright trails and the most fireballs of any meteor shower we have. Perseid meteors come from Comet 109P Swift-Tuttle, which takes 133 years to orbit the Sun. It was last seen in 1992, and around that time it produced some very bright meteor storms, but it won't reach perihelion, closest approach, again until the year 2125. This comet was discovered by Lewis Swift and Horace Tuttle, in 1862, it's a large comet with a 16-mile or 26-kilometer nucleus, twice the size of the object that slammed into the Earth, terminating the dinosaurs. The radiant for the Perseid meteor shower is the constellation Perseus the Hero. It looks like it's going to be clear tonight, so let's go watch the Perseid meteor shower. To watch a meteor shower, you don't need any equipment. You don't need binoculars or a telescope or anything like that. But you must go to a dark sky site. It's key. If you don't, you're going to miss most of the meteors. So go to a dark sky site as dark as possible. And just take a blanket because even in summer it can get cool at night. And take something to lie on, a blanket or a reclining chair and then just sit back and relax and watch the meteor shower. It's best to watch after midnight because Perseus, the constellation, won't rise until then, and it's most active from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. So if you can stay up that late, it's well worth it because it's spectacular. That was one of the best Perseid meteor showers I've seen for years. I haven't seen that many meteors for a long time. I'd say we saw a hundred in two hours and they had bright trails. We saw several fireballs. It was just spectacular. I hope you got to see it too. And that's it for now. I'll see you soon. Until then, get outside and enjoy the night sky. Dark skies forever. Sula, signing off.